What Asperger symptoms does Abed from Community display? Find out right now. Coming up. In this video, I'm breaking down some of the unique and interesting autism traits that Abed from the very popular TV show Community displays on the show, and that you've probably not even noticed these. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos on this content, so if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below, because, well, you wanna know when my videos are out, don't you? And also, if you are watching over on Facebook, make sure to hit the like and follow button so you don't miss a daily video from me. This video is proudly sponsored by World of Warships. Now the company reached out and wanted to know if they'd sponsor this video, so thank you so much for doing that. This game actually has the largest inventory of virtual ships anywhere online, which is amazing. And I really enjoyed playing this game, as you can see from some of these screenshots, it's absolutely amazing. The graphics are outstanding. And actually, in actual fact, the graphics are some of the highest level of graphics I've ever seen for war games. Now if you are really interested in warships and war games and things like that, then I highly recommend checking these out and use the invite code, which is BATTLESTATIONS2020, which will be on screen here and in the link in the description below, so you can get your invite code. This actually contains 200 doubloons, a three days premium account, a million credits, one premium ship USS Charleston, and a one port slot. So definitely check that out, but this is only available to people who are new players to the game. I highly recommend checking it out. If you're into ships, you're gonna love this because they have such a vast variety of ships. And also, there's been new features added where like there's like different weather controls and things like that. But basically the premise of the game is that you get your ship and there's another team with another ship and then you have to kind of blow their ships. It's kind of like battleships, but like 10 times as good. So definitely check that out. Link is in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code. So I have um, been looking at different TV shows that display people on the autism spectrum and um, Abed from Community uh, actually displays Asperger's syndrome symptoms. And actually, I think in one episode I saw, maybe one, one of the first two episodes, I'm sure his sister says he has Asperger's syndrome. But regardless of that, he has some very unique uh, symptoms, that uh, traits that people don't usually see as being autism conditions, uh, but I will be able to show you in this video exactly what they are. Um, I won't be able to actually show you videos of Abed doing stuff because then I'm going to get into copyright and stuff and then I'll, my video will be taken down. But regardless of that, we're going to explain exactly those specific characteristics. So before we get started, guys, um, I love to ask a question because I love to have conversations with you. And I want to know, do you watch more normal television or do you watch more Netflix? If you can leave an answer in a comment down below, I'd read and respond to every single one. So please do that and open up a little conversation with me. I'd love to talk to you. So I love seeing that there are like a bunch of different characters on TV now. You know, you got Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory, uh, you got Abed from Community, and then you also have Sam from the Netflix Atypical, where they are showing autism in an interesting light. All that being said, I did do a video all about Sheldon Cooper's, um, uh, you know, Big Bang Theory kind of issues with how Sheldon sometimes is overloaded with symptoms and not everybody would have all of those. Anyway, regards to that, I will leave a link for that video uh, somewhere in the description down below uh, and probably in a card above here as well if you want to watch that one after this one. But anyway... Abed from Community is uh, on the spectrum and I would love to talk about that. So the guy who created Community is a gentleman called Dan Harmon. Now Dan Harmon also created uh, Rick and Morty, the, the Netflix TV animated TV show. And in Rick and Morty, they mention um, that Uncle Rick is playing Minecraft at one time and then uh, he's playing Minecraft and then they say, hey, why'd you like it so much? And he said, oh, it must be because autistic people love it, which hints towards the fact that um, uh, he obviously is on the spectrum. But not only that, Dan Hammond himself, the guy who invented it, is on the spectrum himself. He has Asperger's syndrome. So uh, it, there's no surprise that, you know, his characters are on the spectrum. So let's dive right into it. Oh, guys, just wanted to uh, do a big shout out. A friend of mine, uh, Micah, who runs a channel on YouTube called Positive Autism, uh, he was really awesome. And he uh, reached out to me and said, hey, can we do something together? I said, okay, draw a picture of me. So, and I'll leave the picture of me on here as well so you can see the full finished cartoon of me which is pretty amazing. I love it. Thank you so much, Micah. His content is so valuable to anybody who wants to see autism from uh, a more higher support needs uh, young person on the spectrum, which is amazing and it definitely needs to be shared. Now, recently he had a big uh, issue with the YouTube channel and lost loads of subscribers. So please can everyone check out his YouTube channel below. He is 
autistic and him and his dad and his mum make amazing videos on Twitter and YouTube. So please check them out. The link will be in the description below. Uh, we just need to share some love here because they had a really big issue with their YouTube channel and now they're trying to, you know, build it back up and, and I all credit to them. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so number one, Abed is completely unaware of social cues. And social cues is like when people do like hand gestures or they like nod or they understand that like there are some jokes that are like sarcastic jokes that everybody should know. Abed doesn't get these. Whenever he's in a situation in the show where he is confronted with a situation where they'll be doing hand gestures or there'll be like social cues for a uh, social gathering or convention, he's completely outside of that structure and doesn't understand what is going on and takes everything quite literal in that situation. So social cues completely amiss with Abed and I can relate to that. I actually have issues with social cues myself knowing when people are being sincere when they're not being sincere, if they're joking, if they want me to move, am I standing too close to them? All of these like unwritten social cues are, are something of what of a mystery to people on the spectrum. And they can be quite difficult for people on the spectrum to, to come to understand, especially when you're in a social environment. But Abed completely dis, uh, uh, displays this it, it, 100%. He, he, looks and challenges the same issues that I have, which is amazing because when I watch it, I'm like, I totally relate to that because he has those issues, I have those issues, you know, oh, I'm on the spectrum and he's on the spectrum. So it's kind of like, okay, you have some relatability and I think there's some comfort in that as well. Um, let me know if you, if you agree with this, but when I see Abed and he's struggling with like uh, going to a pub and they're socializing and everyone's having a good time and he's quite struggling with it and I feel like, yeah, I get like that and I can I can become a selective mute and then I stop talking in those situations and I'm just like, I have no idea what's going on. I'm outside of the flow of this conversation. I don't get it. And it's just so nice to see. It's almost like a breath of fresh air when you see someone on TV and they're going through the same issues and you're thinking, oh, okay, I get it. You know, I'm not completely alone. So Abed displays uh, he's unaware of loads of social cues. Some are better, like he can look people in the eyes, but some social cues, not so good. So number two is that Abed doesn't um, exhibit much emotion. And uh, on the contrary to that as well, he doesn't look at anybody and understand their emotions. So people on the autism spectrum have a difficulty uh, displaying their emotional feelings to a third party or they have an issue with understanding third parties emotional feelings so if somebody is upset or sad or angry or happy or ecstatic or worried i'm very much in the dark about this i don't know if they're very very happy or very very sad the only time i can really tell is if someone's crying and know that they're sad which is very confusing sometimes because people cry when they're happy which is very difficult to understand if they're happy or sad and then sometimes if people are hysterically laughing then i know that they're super super happy uh, although sometimes people can laugh when they're sad. It's really confusing. See, the whole concept is very confusing, but typically people understand that, uh, you know, it, people are a certain way and their mood is a certain way and they get it and they understand that. But for me and Abed, he doesn't understand their moods and, and their emotions. You know, he doesn't know, he doesn't understand if they're crying or happy, sad or whatever. But that being said, he doesn't display uh, emotions himself. Like my girlfriend always thinks that I'm very unhappy and I'm very sad. And she's like, what's wrong with you? You're in a mood. I'm like, no, I'm fine. It's just that the way my facial expressions don't dictate um, or don't display how my emotions are feeling. So Abed actually does this as well. So the character plays this really, really well. He actually displays no emotion most of the time he's completely just like Spock, you know, completely emotionless um, in a large part of the TV show. And it's quite interesting because I totally relate to that as well. And people on the autism spectrum would be like, oh yeah, I get it. You know, he's, he, you know, he has a difficult time conveying his emotions through facial expressions. So it, it's something that people on the autism spectrum actually uh, do have issues with. And uh, yeah, I know those people watching this right now being like, yeah, I totally get it. And you, you're all, I get you fam. I get you. I got you. We got you. Guys, if you're enjoying this video and you're having fun, please give this video a thumbs up, a like, that little like bar at the bottom here, because um, it really helps this video out if you give it a like. And also, I'm trying to get all my videos past like 400 likes. So if you want to like this and help me push it past 400, I'd be forever grateful to you and you'd be an awesome friend of mine if you could do that. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, this is number three. Now, Abba tends to relate more directly to uh, uh, movies and fiction than he does real life. Now, a lot of people on the autism spectrum, you'll notice if they're English, then they may have American type accents. A lot of people think that I'm American, but, but I'm not. It's that I watch so much American TV and I learned most of my vocabulary and my 
a lot of my social conversation constructs from watching American TV shows that I relate more to American TV shows and more to TV shows in general than I do people talking to me one-on-one -on -one because I get time to analyze and, and structure the, the, the construct of what's going on when I'm watching a TV show. I can rewind and watch it. So Abed in Community, the TV show we're talking about, he actually displays this where he's reading fan fiction and he he, try, he relates his life to like fan fiction of like superheroes and, and movies and like sci-fi movies and stuff like that, where this is a typical uh, trait of autism, which is very, very interesting because, uh, you know, I. I spend a lot of my time uh, watching kind of like sci-fi stuff like Star Trek and Star Wars and things like that and I relate a lot of my life to that. I actually wrote a book on Star Wars and how I relate my life philosophy to Star Wars and the Jedi Knights and stuff. Um, and I'll link for my book is in the description below if you, if you want to check that out. But in terms of uh, Abed, he also displays this, which I find fascinating because he's on the spectrum and he's displaying those exact traits that people on the spectrum display. And it's amazing to see, it's amazing to watch because I believe this is opening up people's eyes to autism awareness on TV. Oh, and like I said, I, I, I did a video similar to this on Sheldon Cooper. And if you wanna see that again, I'll leave a link in a card above uh, so you can check that out. And also just check out the description below where I'll, I'll put a, a link to the, the video with Sheldon. It'll just say like, you know, Sheldon Cooper video or whatever. And uh, yeah, just check it out. Cause I feel like if you're enjoying this one, you'll definitely enjoy that one. Okay, number four, um, this is really funny actually. So number four is obsessive interests um, and also, uh, this was very interesting. There's, a, there's an episode where um, he's playing a computer game in a pub and a guy comes up to him and says to him like, hey, you're really good at that, blah, blah, blah. Um, he says some references to Farscape, which is a sci-fi TV show that was on like ages ago and it's kind of like super got a cult following and everybody loves it. If you're like into sci-fi, you know exactly what Farscape is. And so this guy's like, hey, you're like blah, blah, blah from Farscape. And then Abed's like, hey, yeah, did you see this episode with blah, blah, blah? And the guy's like, yeah, I loved it. I've got the Blu-ray DVD box set or whatever. So then they, he says, can I buy you a drink? And they go sit down. And then this guy is apparently flirting with Abed, but Abed is just literally talking to him like a thousand miles an hour about his obsessive interest, about Farscape, about all the characters and the scenarios and what his thoughts are on Farscape and all this kind of stuff, which is a typical trait of autism. Anybody who knows anyone on the spectrum, they will talk to you until you fall asleep about their favorite subject and their thing they're most obsessed about. And he, even to the point where he didn't even know this guy was hitting on him, the guy gets really annoyed and he throws like a glass of like, alcohol in his face which is really annoying but it, it, it's funny because that is exactly how it is i could literally talk about my obsessive interests uh, which is aliens and ufos um until the cows come home you know people could just literally be sitting down bored out their skull and i'm like yeah i'm just going for it and everyone's like okay damn i've had enough my girlfriend puts up with all of that because i <laughs> i sit down and I talk to her about all these crazy things all the time so yeah she deserves a medal but anybody who knows what i'm talking about will know that abed displays this in the TV show, almost like to, to the to the book, to the it's like textbook, textbook, man. Guys, if you think this video is entertaining and can help somebody, please share it on Facebook and Twitter and your Instagram stories because that would really help me out a lot and it would help other people. And so in turn, we'd be helping each other out. And I love that. So please share this on Facebook and Twitter if you think this has value for people. Okay, so number five is um, Abed has issues with empathy. There's even one episode because uh, he doesn't really understand people, right? So he he builds this machine to try and understand people out of like cardboard and stuff in his room. So he can make like almost like a, an algorithmic kind of model of how people interact and stuff. And then he he understands that if he can make this like this, he can understand people because he doesn't typically understand people. He needed to make this machine as like a, a guide or an aid to understanding empathy and people's emotions and people's characteristics and people's intentions and all that kind of stuff. But then everybody kind of gets really annoyed about it. And one interesting part um, that, that happens in this is not only he has issues with empathy and understanding people, which people on the spectrum do have those issues. Um, a friend of his comes in and then she actually um, adds a piece into the algorithm which he's made, uh, like another cardboard piece um, saying like, don't be an idiot to people or something and then because she's upset his fantastic model algorithm of, of what he was doing he then like freaks out and starts having like a, a panic attack and then he starts getting a meltdown and then he collapses which is typical you know it's a typical autism spectrum issue that if you are if somebody upsets your routine or touches your stuff or, or whatever it, it could cause a meltdown and then uh it's it's not pretty it's not good 
it's not pretty. And he displays this specifically in the show. Now, Abed is a very interesting character. He um, is very intelligent and he displays autism uh, in a very interesting way and he doesn't overload it. It's not like Sheldon Cooper. But one thing that I did notice that he um, does do is he does make eye contact with people. Now, people on the spectrum typically have an issue with eye contact. I have an issue making eye contact with people. I can make eye contact with people I know really well, like my girlfriend and my mum and dad, but even then, I have to break it off after a while. I can't really, you know, look into someone's eyes when I'm talking to them for a long period of time because it's completely uncomfortable and I, I can't do it. But Abed, on the other hand, actually doesn't display this. He displays the fact that he can look people in the eyes and talk to them quite well in the eyes, as well as Sheldon Cooper can, which leads me to believe that they're trying to be quite like it because in real life, in reality, not everybody on the autism spectrum has issues with looking people in the eye. Only some people do. Um, it's not something that is characteristic of everybody on the autism spectrum. It's just characteristic of most people on the spectrum. Um, but some people I know who are on the spectrum actually can look people in the eyes pretty well. Um, and so that's pretty awesome. But Abed does that. And I like the fact that Dan Hammond's done it in a nice way. He's educating, he's pushing something forward and he's just being an absolute dude. So thank you, Dan, for doing that. And also Dan Harmon is on the spectrum. Guys, if you'd like to see a video about Dan Harmon and all about him and, and how Rick and Morty and everything to do with autism uh, from Dan Harmon's point of view, let me know in a comment down below and say, Dan, I'd love to see a video on Dan Harmon. So uh, hopefully I'm saying his name right. I may be terribly wrong because I'm also dyslexic. So guys, don't forget to check out World of Warships, link in the description and use the invite code. Super, super awesome. They were really awesome. Please check out the game. It's amazing. Take it easy, guys. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on another video that I publish. Also, if you want to see another video from me, click on the next video around me here and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Peace.